this is the same example that I did the frequency distribution that basically uh, we took a random sample of 100 boxes of raisins. They all should weigh the same. So some boxes might have less raisins because they're bigger raisins and some might have more and so on. So what I want to do is I want to find some summary statistics. I'm going I'm to show you how to do this two different ways. I'm going to show you how to do it manually. And then if you install the data analysis tool, what it gives you. So manually, I want to find the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation. So let's make that column a little bit bigger. Uh, what else do I want to find? Let's find, let's find the minimum value. Let's find the maximum value. And then let's find quartile one and quartile two. I think that's everything I want to find. Um, oh, we'll find the IQR. Oops, the inner quartile range. Okay, so Excel has all of these so nicely. There's a formula. So the mean, you just have to remember that the mean means the average. So Excel has a built-in formula for the average. I select my data. So there's my data. And you can see it right here from A1 through A100. I press enter. And so this is basically saying the average box of raisins has 50, 51 raisins. All right, the median, remember, is the middle value. So the problem is, is when you have an even number of values, there is no middle value, right? Because you could cut this in half and there's 50 below and 50 above, but there's no exact middle. So what they actually do for that is they average the two middle values. So there's a formula for it, equals median, open parentheses, and I already know I can just type A1, A100. Okay, so that's my data. I hit enter and I get 51. And in fact, if we actually scroll and look here, we can see those are our two middle values. So they averaged them, which is 51 plus 51 divided by two is 51. The mode is the value that shows up the most often. So mode, and now here I put my actual data, where my data is located. So this would tell me um, how many raisins show up the most in these boxes. So apparently 53. Standard deviation is the spread of the data. So a larger standard deviation, the more spread out the data is equals STDEV. Now, there's a bunch of different formulas. You kind of want to stay away from the population one. You could do this um, dot S. I just go old school and just use the STDEV. Okay, that's the old, older one and my data. So you can see all you have to do is know these formulas, right? And I press enter. So there's a spread of, you know, about five. I mean, if I rounded that, about five raisins. Okay, that's the spread of the data. The minimum I can already see is 39, and the maximum I can see is 61. But let's just do the formula, okay, in case you had a huge data set. So equals min A1 through A100. Oops, I got my A100. And I get the 39. My max equals max A1 through A100. And that's my 61. There are quartiles, so equals quartiles, and there are different ones in here. Um, you can research this, and they'll say, like, this one's better, the inclusive, exclusive is better than the inclusive, and all that good stuff. I'm just going to use the quartile by itself. My data, my array, A1 through A100. Now it's asking me which quartile do I want. So notice I could do quartile zero, which is the same as the minimum value, but I want the first quartile. So I double clicked on that or just type a one and close my parentheses. And then that should say quartile three. Um, what's quartile two? I'll show you here in a second. So let's do equals quartile, my data. And this is quartile three. So remember what these numbers mean. Quartile 1 says if I go to 47 and below, that's 25% of my data. 
This says 53, so we about 53, um, and below is 75% of my data. Remember the IQR equals quartile 3 minus quartile 1. All right, so it's kind of nice they have these built-in quartiles. Now, I said, what is quartile 2? Watch this. Equals quartile my data, and I'm going to do quartile 2. Look there, look there, look there. It should be the median, right? Because the median's right in the middle, and that's 50% of your data, which would be quartile 2. So a lot of times you'll be asked to do like a five-number summary, and the five-number summary contains the minimum um, quartile 1, the median, or quartile 2, quartile 3, and the maximum, which if, as you can guess, the maximum would be the same as quartile 4. So that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's typically um, what you're asked when they say to find a five-number summary, the minimum, quartile 1, the median, quartile 3, and the maximum. All right. Now, Excel actually has a built-in if you go through and you install the data analysis tool. If you click data and you don't see data analysis, and you probably won't unless you're on a computer that somebody's installed it because this isn't automatically there, what you do is you go to File, and then you go to Options, and you go to Add-ins, and then Manage Excel Add-ins, Go, and you want to check this very first one, Analysis Tool Pack. And once you check that, this is actually kind of nice because it does more than just what I'm going to show you here, is now I can click Data Analysis and tell it I want to do Descriptive Statistics, because that's what this is, Summary Descriptive Statistics. Say OK. Tell it where my data, oops, tell it where my data is. So I click this up arrow and I select my data. So A1 through A100. I select the up arrow again. Um, there were no labels in the first row. That would be just in case. This is grouped by columns. This is basically saying where do I want to output it. So I just click that up arrow and click on here. I want summary statistics. So I do summary statistics. And then I say OK. And let's just make these a little bit bigger. And you get more information than, than probably you even wanted. But notice the mean, that matches, the median, the mode, the standard deviation. So there's lots of stuff in here. The range, how do you find the range? Do you remember how to find the range? The range, let's just add that here. The range equals the max minus the min. And so there's my range, and my max and my min. Um, if it summed them all up, the count of how many values there are. So this, this doesn't give you everything, but it gives you quite a lot, right, to be able to do the data analysis tool. So just a very quick way to get some summary to summarize these 100 data values into a smaller, um, you know, descriptive statistics that tell me average number of raisins in the box, the middle, the number of raisins in the box that show up the most, the spread, and so on.